Okay. The Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Matia Kasaija, has advised the National Lotteries and Gaming Regulatory Board to guard against the underage engaging in gambling activities. <laughs> allow you to, to, to compete uh, with the other people uh, but in a responsible manner so that it, you don't become addicted. Matia Kasaidia was on a working tour of the National Lotteries and Gaming Regulatory Board head office in Kampala. He also advised against addiction to lottery activities by members of the public. The minister's visit was premised on assessing the lottery's regulatory body's performance and its impact on the economy and a request that they closely regulate participation of the underage in the sector and addiction among a number of the public. Do not ban this sector because it has adverse effects. Look at this sector as, I would call it the alcohol sector or even the people who smoke. Betting is addictive and can be psychologically harmful. Uh, and therefore, as a gaming board, we are making an effort to, one, uh, sensitize the public about the dangers of uh, gaming. We have uh, started sensitization in targeted places. Targeted places, I mean, uh, for example, we've started with uh, higher institutions of learning. The Chief Executive Officer, National Lotteries and Gaming Regulatory Body, Dense Modena, said that even with the efforts to regulate the activities, they still face challenges that include gaming and local defaulters. If you have seen these small machines where people uh, throw coins, they have spread all over the country. And as a gaming board, we are really understaffed. Out of uh, the 51 staff that we're supposed to have, uh, we are 34. And uh, we are unable to traverse the country and uh, ensure that we effectively regulate the sector. Even when many Ugandans below the age of 18 engage in lottery, casino and other gaming activities, the regulatory board emphasizes that gaming is only legally meant for 25-year-olds and above. It is only those who have the right age, who are 25 years and above, that do gaming. And when they do gaming, what belongs to Caesar goes to Caesar. The National Lottery and Gaming Regulatory Board pledges to harmonize the operations of the sector for public satisfaction, especially with the amendment of the 2016 Act. It was made in 2016. The sector we are dealing with is very dynamic. There are so many changes and so many demands. The, the purpose, of the spirit behind the revising is to make sure that this is a law that will help us regulate properly. That will also help business to be done in a more uh, coherent way. Minister Kasaidi allowed the regulatory board for boosting revenue collections within the sector. They started with little money, 18 billion, 25, and uh, if it hadn't been for COVID, they even now now they have gone to 110 billion money they collected for the treasury. Mwaivan Juko for UBC News.